Hi there, and welcome back to the Festival Kitchen. I'm Lauren, this is Brittany. We're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. And today, I'm so excited because we're making one of my favorite warmer weather recipes. Yes, we are. Today, we're making fresh bruschetta. And we love bruschetta because it's just a really easy appetizer or treat for warm weather get-togethers. And it features a lot of fresh garden ingredients. Yes, perfect for warmer weather and um, it features tomatoes, which we're really excited about. But I think one of the things that confuses people about tomatoes is maybe not exactly sure the exact right way to cut a tomato or right. to slice it up. Um, and it's actually really simple. I know we've talked about that too before. Is yes. this the right way? Um, yes. So we're going to show you just really quickly how to properly slice up a tomato. So we're using Roma tomatoes today. Mm -hmm. um, so really all you need to do is just slice off the end and then just make even slices throughout your tomato all the way to the end. I know a lot of people get confused too because when they try to dice a tomato, it gushes all over the place. It doesn't look pretty. So yep. this really simplifies it. And then really we're just making slices this way. We're turning it and slicing again. And we're just gonna do that. It's as easy as that. Yep, pile up our slices. And it's nice if you have a really sharp knife too so then the tomato isn't gushing tomato juice everywhere. Yes, exactly. Awesome. Well, the other step we've already completed ahead of time, we've taken some of the SKS bread from our bakery, so a baguette, and we've sliced it on the diagonal into these thin slices. We brushed them with olive oil and popped them in the oven at 450 for about five minutes until they're nice and crisp. And these are actually going to be our vehicles for our bruschetta. Perfect, so I'm gonna add the tomatoes, our main ingredient, the star of our show, um, to our big bowl where we're gonna mix everything together. Love it. They are so fresh too, that's awesome. You want really yeah, fresh too. ripe tomatoes, thank you. So now we're just adding some minced red onion, some chopped basil. So again, a lot of times in the warmer months, we have an abundance of tomatoes and herbs in our gardens for those of us that have gardens. So this is a great recipe. Oh, that's just so fresh. Oh yeah. It's very refreshing and we're using it today as an appetizer. But what I also love about bruschetta is that you can use it on protein. So maybe you grill a chicken breast, Top on a little bruschetta, maybe a little bit of you know fresh mozz or something like that. Oh yeah, absolutely so delicious. Perfect. And every single ingredient comes through in the flavor too. So I just added some minced garlic. We just used jarred minced garlic to save a step. And then some olive oil, classic Mediterranean ingredient, and some balsamic vinegar. And that's? That's really it, that's simple it. as that. So I'm just going to mix this up and then we can start topping our bread slices. And also a great thing about bruschetta is if you do want to make it ahead of time um, and maybe you take it out and it has a little bit of extra liquid, feel free to drain that. Um, yeah. Or even I know sometimes we'll make it and maybe not finish it up all in that one day. It stores so you can pop it in the refrigerator and then just simply get rid of that excess liquid. Super easy. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and top our slices with the bruschetta bruschetta and then you can top it with our yeah so we have, we have a couple of extra toppings today um, which is just gonna give it a little extra flair make it a little bit even more gourmet these are optional you can do one you can do a couple um, so we just have a couple ideas today so um, we've got some sliced kalamata olives which I absolutely love so yes. making more of a, a Mediterranean yes yeah I'm just gonna move that this adds a little so bit much oh here. yeah good call this smells amazing, by the way, so fresh. I love it. So we can do olives, um, another really simple ingredient. The hardest part is just getting everything to stay on there. Yeah, <laughs> but that's okay, that's part of the fun. Yep. Um, grated Parmesan cheese, so just a little sprinkle of that. Again, you can leave some without cheese, some only with cheese, and that's what's fun about bruschetta. Mm -hmm. Or bruschetta, however you say it. However you say it, yep. <laughs> Another really easy ingredient um, is just balsamic glaze, which you can find in our deli department. I love keeping this on hand, mm -hmm. really at all times, to use with protein, to use with sweet potatoes, whatever it might be. It just makes it look so gourmet. Yes, and it's so simple too. And like you said, you can find it right in our deli department, so you can just buy it bottled like this, but it adds a lot of that gourmet touch. I'm actually gonna to top some of these with fresh arugula, so this is just, pre-bagged washed arugula. 
So ready to go. And it just adds some of that peppery flavor. Get some on these guys too. And how fun too, just to make a tray. Mm -hmm. And everybody can kind of mix and match. Um, and that was so simple. And look at how pretty it looks already. Oh, I love it. So we used um, our SK, SKS baguette slices today for our vehicles for our bruschetta. But another thing we really like are these angelic bakehouse sprouted grain bread crisps. So essentially it's sprouted grain bread, but kind of in like a cracker form. So that works just as well and it saves you a step. We love using sprouted grains too because the grains are partially broken down making it easier for your body to digest and absorb all those nutrients we look for in whole grains. So they come in a rye flavor. This is actually the sprouted seven grain flavor. So either of those would work really well. And they're delicious. Too. Yeah, they taste really awesome. Let's all right. give these a try. Yes. I want one with balsamic glaze. I know, I was thinking <laughs> the same thing. My favorite. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And we'll be the first to say there's no great way. No clean way to eat bruschetta? Ooh, yeah, it's definitely messy, but it's so worth it. <laughs> well, we hope you give this fresh recipe a try. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit bestfoods.com.